It's big. It's uh, no, big. It, it, it's big. All the blogs have covered it. I have yet to see Candy Gal make a statement. That makes me a bit nervous. Like, you know, because Candace is pretty quick on her feet. So we haven't heard a peep and Candace likes to get messy. So I feel like if this was completely false, now I, I know Chris and Candy a little bit. Chris Bassett's been on my show. Candy's been on our show multiple times. Uh, I've seen them and hung out with them outside of the show and at cast things. I mean, they seem very connected when they're together. This whole like storyline of him flirting. I don't know. Maybe I'm not his type. I mean, <laughs> clearly like, you know, but I, he's always been very respectful on the show. I've never gotten the sense that this guy is like, I don't know, out cheating on her. He always seems very connected, like working, helping her do something. Okay. But this woman came forward. She went on my girl, Tasha Kay's show. She alleges that they're still in contact. She uh, met him, I think, because, you know, you, he does work in restaurants and nightclubs. And she, he got her pregnant and she had an abortion like just 12 weeks ago, 13, 14, 12 weeks ago, somewhere like that. And this, apparently yeah. Tasha Kay says she has the proof that that Chris did have an alleged mistress. And I am getting a little nervous because we haven't heard a peep from Candy Gal. And I feel like if Candy, if this wasn't true, Candy would be dragging this woman because this woman is not, none of them are ever as hot as the woman that these guys are with, right? I.E. Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? I mean, you know, I know, right? Nothing against, I'm sure these women are wonderful and I'm not the hottest piece out there either. So I don't care what you say about my looks, but whenever these men cheat, they always cheat with someone that is not hot. What about the whole David Beckham thing? Did you see that woman? She's not bad, but she ain't no yeah. posh spice. She ain't posh spice. Yeah. But Rebecca Luz is, I think she is really attractive though. She was, she was, yeah, I feel like she's pretty hot. And by the way, that documentary was good until that scene. And that was such bullshit. Ugh, don't even get me started about that fucking scene. They don't tell you shit about that affair. I'll save you getting to episode four of that. It's my husband loved it because my husband is in soccer. So he learned all the soccer shit about David. I could care less about that. And if you're trying to be there for their personal shit, scroll on yep, yep. because it's heavily edited about what you find out. I'm so I don't do a documentary unless you're going to go there. Okay. I'm tired well, guess of why? self-produced documentaries yeah guess what um there was a documentary starring david yanta from behind the velvet rope the randall scandal everybody check it out in my hulu debut um i don't even know if that really was my hulu, hulu debut um so what you're saying is look so i've met them too you know you know them better than i do uh you have a lot of good points this is a really tough one i agree with you that what you're saying is so guys you know this came out that candace and chris you know that they're that they're that he did exactly what sarah said i agree with you just from reading the room he seems really into her she's into him he seems loyal it's not like I can picture this. I'd be more shocked in a way about this than even Kyle and Mauricio because I've heard the Kyle, the Mauricio rumors for years and years and years. Having said that, it wouldn't completely shock me if Chris is a dog. No, it wouldn't. I also love about Chris, let me just say, which is not always the case, so comfortable in his masculinity. Like I don't get any, listen, a lot of these guys, you meet them and you get a very slight tinge of like homophobia from them. A lot of them. Chris, so accepting of everything. Love him. Um, I agree with you. This is the number one girl that is so messy on Twitter. Andy calls her out. She admits that she's messy on Twitter. So is this a case of like, this woman is so insignificant that Candace thinks it's beneath her, that the woman's not on the show. We're just not going to give this any light by even addressing it. But I do agree with you. So that that could be a whole thing, right? That she's just like, we're not addressing this. But couldn't it also be like, I agree. Like Candace drags you for fucking filth. Filth. She is so good at it. If she's coming for you, she hasn't said a word. And that is a little bit concerning. I, I will agree with you. Here's Ayanna Williams. This is the woman um, that Chris Bassett allegedly had the affair with. 
You know, I, I get that. And I also can see this two ways. I do think that Kyle and Morgan have set us into a new era, as well as Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. I I think that now these scandals, people are using they're they're the ones they're taking back the power they're not giving like a tmz the exclusive they're not giving it to twitter they're hanging on for they're hanging on to these nuggets for a moment to then sell a book get paid out the wazoo for their interview candy is very smart candy gal came into that show with a mission and she's like i'm gonna fucking make myself a star whatever it takes i don't care if i'm the villain i don't care who I am. And I believe she said this when she was on with you and me. The other thing is maybe whether this is true or not true, Candace is like, how can this benefit me? And unlike Robin, our Rob gal and Juan Dixon, maybe, I mean, they've already filmed this season, but does she hold on to this? I mean, is this her ticket to getting another season? I just think that people have learned, they have learned, darling, from the Jadas, from, you know, I mean, what a bunch of bullshit Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith are. Will is just as a culprit. I mean, they use that just as a marketing tool for her to get red table talk, for us to go to his stupid movies. And now she's trying to sell a book, right? And and all the while, they haven't even been together for years. I don't know. I mean, I think Candy Gal is smart now. I think they're going to go, mm, how can we, exp- whether true or untrue, how do we get paid from this? I think that's what people say now. Let me tell you something, you know, sometimes and next time we'll talk about Denise Richards and her daughter OnlyFans. But oh. speaking of speaking of Will Smith, it's very rare that I say this father and son sign me up. I mean, Will is hot. Jaden is even hotter. OK, I, I'll do Will first and then I want Jaden for like a couple months. OK, just putting that out there. I'm really in a mood today. You've really got me riled up. Um. It's the expose you just done did on me. So I mean, so so I I I I agree with you. This one is really tough for me. I it's really tough because, or maybe Candace is saving this for like trying to say, like, you want the real truth of me and Chris? Let us do a paid interview. Who's coming up with the cash? Let's do a paid interview, right? I don't know. Go on. You I mean, when I first read this and I first saw the woman like the and I heard the the interview, I was like, eh, I don't know. She didn't. I'm like, I feel like this could be bullshit. But then I don't know. You know, apparently there are text messages and everything. And I'm always like, oh, that's the kiss of death if there are. And I mean, I don't know. The, the thing about having an abortion 13 weeks ago, I mean, that's the part that's like, wouldn't you pop off like immediately and be like, bitch there's no fucking way he did this like he was with me you know what i mean like i don't know i she was i i saw her in august at city winery in new york chris was with her i mean she performed in the deep space tour um but you know what though sarah i'm gonna be honest with you you know i have a good friend named bethany frankel right and you know i have some other good friends i have a new i have a new good friend you know what her name is do you want to know my good friend's name Tell me. her name is the one the only Sutton Strack in my good friend, Sutton Strack says, Dolan, when there's smoke, there's fire. It's a direct quote from Sutton Strack from the trailer of RHOBH, guys. Um, that is what Sutton says. So, I mean, that is my only thing. Is this woman obsessed with Chris Bassett? Like, you know, that's how this, you see, you, you tell me when, when I say Sarah lives in the state of California, I get a call afterwards, guys. David, you should never say where, I'm like, it's just the state, Sarah. I'm not giving out your address. So people become obsessed according to Sarah. And they then, folk, is this woman just obsessed with Chris? It seems very, it's just, it's why Chris? That That's my point. Like, there has to be, I don't know. Like, why would you choose Chris? Like, it's a strange story. Why wouldn't you pick Will Smith, Brad Pitt, um, George Clooney? I mean, I guess she's local in the area, but Chris Bassett? That just seems very random to me. Out of every male with a dick in the DMV area to choose, unless you're sitting home and for some reason you've fallen in love with Chris through the TV. I mean, I also think, you know, Candy's being sued by Michael Darby. You know, maybe she's gathering her attorneys. Maybe she's going to sue Tasha K. I mean, you know, maybe they're coming for them and they're getting all their ducks in a row and they're not going to comment. I don't know. I mean, 
When I hear this woman, I find it hard to believe that Chris could really do this. Then when she's giving these specifics about the abortion and everything, and we're not hearing anything, I'm like, you know, and supposedly he liked Instagram pictures of her. And then now there's a second blogger who's come forward and basically says this woman reached out to her wanting to give her the scoop. And I don't know if that blogger had some other like text messages between the two. And or the they, blogger they said no. Together. Yeah, I don't think the blogger would touch that blogger like wouldn't touch it. Um, but then Tasha K did. So I I don't know. I, I this I is where this is where 